Hi guys, in this video we want to take a look at how to create a custom shape nav path. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what we want to do is draw a custom nav path where the player can walk along the dirt trail. And in order to do that, we're going to create a couple of brushes. So we'll get started by going to select, then brush editing. We'll choose the pen tool and I'll set my extrude depth to 100. This is how tall the brush will be. Then we need to be in an orthographic view. So I'll choose the top down. And we can't actually draw the shape of the dirt trail because that would mean that we would want to turn it into a nav mesh bounds volume. And that's not currently implemented. So later on in a future update to Unreal, we'll come back and we'll revisit that. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the outside of the trail where we're going to turn that into a nav modifier and we'll make it into a null area class. And if we do that on both sides of the dirt trail, it will leave the area in between as the only navigable area of the nav mesh. So that's what we'll have our custom nav path. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with that. So to plot the points of my brush, I'm going to use the space bar and I'm just going to draw along the outside of where I want to create the volume. And then when I get to the last point, I'm going to hit enter and it'll automatically complete the brush. Then I can hit optimize to try and reduce the faces and I'll go ahead and create the other side as well. Okay, and when I'm done, I'll go ahead and put the pen tool away by going back to the select mode. And then we'll go back to our original perspective view. Now we'll select both of our brushes and we'll go down to the details panel and search for convert actor. And we're going to choose from this list here. And here is where we could normally turn it into the nav mesh bounds volume. But again, that's not implemented, so you won't get good results. Sometimes people like to choose from the blocking volume, but we're going to choose the nav modifier volume. And we're going to have both of them set to be area class null, which they are by default. And that's going to carve out the nav mesh from underneath the volume, leaving just the dirt trail between them as our new nav path. So really quick, let me go ahead and rename these. Okay, now let's turn on the nav mesh and we can see that all of the area outside of the dirt trail is being blocked by the nav volumes and it'll leave just the green area in between for the characters to walk on. Okay, that was just a quick and easy way to create a custom nav path. I hope this video helped. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in some other videos.